Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today, I'm here with another Kansas City Royals game for you. Another game in my 2023 Royals playthrough. We are starting in the year 2023. And as you can see down here, the Kansas City Royals come into game 100 of the season with a record of 46 and 53 which I believe you will find is better than what the real Royals of 2023 were at that point in the season. We're 11 games out of first place, but only one game behind the Guardians. And, uh, and we're actually within uh, striking distance even of the Tigers. So um, we will see um, what happens with the season. Now, if you look at the standings, you can kind of get an idea of the realism of the game or their non-realism of the game. Um, you've still got the Braves winning the East, but the Mets are like right behind them, which did not happen. Um, you've got Toronto winning the AL East, and the Yankees only six games behind them and in second place, which again did not happen. You got the Orioles under 500, so that's that's crazy. But again, this is out of the park baseball. These general managers have their own. I mean, they have the versions of the teams that they that they really would have had, but they make trades that are independent of real life, and they decide on who to bring up and who to send down, independent of what the uh, real organization did. So. Um, you know there is that, um, and then you got the and then you got the Rangers. The, look at that, the Rangers down there in last place in the West in the AL West. So, yeah, the realism isn't really there, but this isn't an exact uh, replica playthrough of every team having every player that they actually had. There is a way to do that. But that isn't what this is. This is every general manager within this out-of-the-park universe making their own decisions for their teams, uh, which is going to lead to a little different. I mean, the Twins are winning our division, and they did win the division, but the, sh the White Sox are only five games behind them, and that, believe me, I'm a White Sox fan. That didn't happen. So anyway, let's get on with the game. Uh, we are taking on the Yankees. So you see the Yankees are at home or in Yankee Stadium, and I have to make a change here. We, ha we are missing somebody. Um, we will have Max Castillo on the mount, but um, I want to see what we need to... Uh, what are we missing here? Third, we've got... Uh, all right, we've got... Do we not have a catcher? I guess we don't have a catcher. Um, Salvador Perez, yeah, he's probably down to his last. But, you know, and here's the thing. He doesn't give me a backup catcher. He doesn't give me a true backup catcher. So I have to put somebody in there and make them a catcher, which is really odd. Usually the general manager is going to give you everything you need. And, uh, yeah, we can't play Salvador Perez, so... I got to put somebody at catcher, and I don't know who that would be. Um, we'll make Matt Duffy the catcher. I mean, he always wanted to be a catcher. <laughs> In one of his other lives, he wanted to be a catcher. Um, oh, wait, Vinny Pasquatino was... was um, all right. I guess we'll put we'll put Duffy at first. Wait a minute. Now this is Matt Duffy. So we're putting him at catch. We're making him okay, there we go. We made him the catcher. All right. So uh, that's going to be our lineup. We're going to have Bobby Witt Jr. leading off playing third base. Um, Michael Massey batting second and at second base. Matt Duffy batting third, and he'll be the catcher. Vinny Pasquatino at first base, batting in the cleanup spot. Fran Mil Reyes will be the DH. Um, and let's go back to, uh, well, we won't start the game just yet. Um, Re Reyes will be at DH, batting fifth. MJ Melendez will bat sixth and be the right fielder. Ben Gamble, 
And again, see, Ben Gamble, we have Ben Gamble, but the Royals don't in real life have Ben Gamble. Kyle Isbell will play center, and Nicky Lopez batting last and playing shortstop. The uh, Yankees are going to lead off with Cabrera at third base, Harrison Bader in center field batting second, Judge will be the right fielder batting third, uh, Giancarlo Stanton will uh, bat in the cleanup spot and play left field, uh, Rizzo is going to play first base for them, Wilmer Flores will be the DH, and again, I don't know if the Yankees in real life ever had Wilmer Flores. Um, Torres will play second and bat seventh. Peraza is going to bat eighth and play shortstop, and Trevino will be their catcher. And I think he's a young catcher in their system. So with that having been done, we are going to get on with the game. So uh, here is Bobby Witt Jr. And he's going to be facing Luis Severino. And we're going to get a nice look at Yankee Stadium in all of its glory in the Bronx, New York. And Bobby Witt went deep on the first bat, <laughs> the first batter of the game, and we've got a one nothing lead. So that was that was crazy good. Um, and we're going to uh, have Michael Matt now. Michael Massey is having a good year for us, and but he strikes out. Thanks, Mike. And uh, here's Matt Duffy, our catcher, playing for uh, Perez, who needed a rest. Salvador Perez. And Pasquatino, the first baseman. Now, that means we're not going to be able to throw anybody out, probably, and we're going to have some pass, our, good, our share of pass balls and things are, like that are going to happen. So Max Castillo is on the mound. You can see he is 5-1 and one on the year in 72 and a third innings. And what we're hoping is that my, my general manager comes up with more good young players like that, and we can capitalize on it. Uh, Harrison Bader, the second batter. Harrison Bader is going to fly out to right field. There's two down for the Yankees. We are beating one nothing here. And Aaron Judge is the batter. Now, he can only hit a one-run home run at best, but he walks. Um, and that brings Giancarlo Stanton up. And Giancarlo Stanton is uh, fighting through some nagging injuries and still playing, and he pops up to third base. So, uh, no runs for the Yankees. And that brings Fran Mil Reyes up for us. We've got the one nothing lead here in the top of the second, and he strikes out. So there's one down quickly, and MJ Melendez is the batter. And MJ Melendez is going to ground out to short. Now, one thing I would point out is Pasquatino plays first base for us. And, and or DH, and he has played quite a bit. But Pasquatino really did not play a lot in 2023 for the Royals, for whatever reason that is. And we are out of the second inning. We go to the bottom of the second, leading one nothing. Anthony Rizzo is the batter, the former Cub, and we walk Anthony Rizzo. So he gets aboard, and that brings Wilmer Flores. Again, I don't think the Yankees really have Wilmer Flores. I'm quite sure that the uh, that uh, Jason, who uh, runs the 161 River Ave um, channel, would love if they got Wilmer Flores. Or maybe he wouldn't. I don't know. And there is two down quickly. So, yeah, Castillo is in command here, and Oswald per Peraza is the batter, and it, it looks like he got a single. Yes, he got a single, fell right in front of the left fielder. And Jose Trevino, their good young catcher, is up, and he goes deep, but it's going to be a deep fly ball to left. And that's how that ends. We go to the top of the third inning, winning one nothing right now. And Kyle Isbell, our center fielder, is the batter. And he's going to go down the left field line for a double, it looks like. That is going to be sweetness. So, um, we got Isbell standing there at second. 
Bobby Witt Jr. is up. He's only hitting, or no, Nicky Lopez. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to bunt. With Nicky Lopez up, he is not having a good year. So we are going to definitely uh, try to bunt here. And he does get the bunt down and move the runner over to third. So now we've got an out and a man 90 feet away. And Bobby Witt Jr. is now the batter. And he let off with a home run. He gets hit. He gets plunked. So he'll go down to first base. We've got runners at the corners and Michael Massey up. Michael Massey, one of our better hitters, but they're going to turn a double play and get out of the inning. So that's that. Did not work. You know, in the bunting, there's guys that swear by the bunting, including real managers, but it really, it most of the time, 99% of the time, you'll see that a sacrifice bunt either does not work, doesn't help you score, in other words, doesn't help. I'm not saying that they don't get the bunt down and move the runner over, but it just doesn't do what it's supposed to do, and that is get you a run, you know, uh, an, an easy run. Or it, it either doesn't do that, or it gets you a run in a game that you were either going to win or lose anyway, and therefore it was meaningless. If you add those three times all together, were times where you bunted, you would find that. Um, it's uh, the it, it's only effective and the reason that you won like maybe five percent of the time or less I would think, but anyway Matt Duffy is the batter he is our catcher today, and he strikes out and he's our catcher because my guy my GM does not give me any other catchers I know we got to have catchers in the minor league system, but he doesn't give me any so there's a fly out and there's two down. And uh, Fran Miel Reyes up at the plate. We, we're going to need some more runs. I mean, this is the Yankees. And in this league, in this world, in this out-of-the-park world, they're in second place. So here is Giancarlo Stanton, and he strikes out. Max Castillo is on top of his game, and he's still in the green. I mean, he can get through maybe to the seventh. If he doesn't get hit up at all. Fly out to right. There's two down. The Yankees cannot solve Max Castillo to save their lives. And you can see why. He's got a 261 earned run average on the year. Right now as it stands. But he walks that guy. Whoever that guy was, he walked him. And that guy was Flores. So now you got Torres. Torres after Flores. Said that's going to be a home run, and that's why I said you're going to need more than just one run. And now the Yankees are up two to one, but you know you can't really lay that at Castillo's. I mean, the fact that we're losing, you can't really lay that at Castillo's doorstep. We needed to get more runs, and we do need to get more runs. That's going to be a single, unfortunately, because the center fielder. Um, just didn't, Isbell just didn't feel like he needed to charge that one. And that's going to be a fly out, hopefully, to right and end the inning, and it does. So we're down two to one here. Um, MJ Melendez is the batter. So you can see how close we are to a team like the Yankees. The Yankees are in second place, they have a winning record, and uh, Ben Gamble is up. And, you know, this is a lot better Royal team. He's going to get a single. Nice. This is a lot better Royal team than the real Royals. Kyle Isbell is up. And part of that also is that some of the players are doing better. Massey is doing a lot better, I think, in this out-of-the-park world than he did in real life. That might be a drop in for a single, and it does. And it moves the runner to third base. So we got runners at the corners one down. No, two down. Two down, my bad. So, uh, Bobby Witt, he's got to come through here. And he is not really going to do that. He's going to actually ground into a fielder's choice. So, uh, we're still down 2-1. to one. We're in the bottom of the fifth. Harrison Bader up. Bader not a good hitter anyway, generally. Um, Aaron Judge... Aaron Judge is going to fly out on a great play out there in left field by Gamble. 
So, I, and it's not that I didn't like him going out and getting Gamble, but you're, if you're going to go out and get me somebody, you know, let's aim a little higher than Ben Gamble. Anyway, we've got Massey up at the plate. We're losing 2-1 to one here in the top of the sixth, and he's going to be out. One away, and Duffy, the catcher, giving Perez a day off because somebody has to, and he walks. And Pasquatino is the batter. Pasquatino is going to fly out to right. Duffy can't advance. And that brings Fran Meal Reyes up. And Fran Meal Reyes is going to fly out to center, I believe, and he does. So we're going to the bottom of the sixth. Down 2-1. to one. Still in a very good game. I'm going to keep Castillo out there at least for the sixth. He strikes out the first batter. Second batter is Wilmer Flores. And you remember last time, Flores got aboard with a walk and then Torres hit a two-run homer, and that's what the difference is right here. But here's Glaber Torres to bat with nobody on. And he is going to get a base hit. So that's at least his second hit of the game. And... Oswald Peraza, and I think he's another guy, another young guy in the Yankees system in real life, and also in this game. So it's 2-1, to one, uh, top of the seventh, Melendez is up, and Melendez is going to pop out to third base. Now I'm going to get somebody up in the bullpen. You can see um, Castillo is getting tired. We will go get, um, hmm. I'm going to say we'll go get Patrick Rotolo. Because he's already kindly, kind of partly tired anyway. And uh, this is a game I'm not so sure we're going to win. hang on and win this one. Um, and Ben Gamble is up. But we'll see. If we score a lot of runs, then I might make a different change there. Not to mention, Castillo's probably not totally gassed just yet. Isbell is up. Um, let's have him bunt again. And he does, and he lays a beauty down. And they throw him out at first base. So now we have a man standing up at second base with Nicky Lopez up. And Nicky Lopez is going to lace one to center field. And that is going to score the tying run. Which brings to the plate Bobby Witt Jr. who led off the game with a home run. But he's going to... Oh, there's an error on the shortstop. Torres, nice. So we've got uh, two outs, but two on. And Massey, one of our better hitters, is at the plate, but he strikes out. So, yeah, he's, I, mean, I think Castillo's pretty much gassed. We're going to go with Rotolo. Oh, wait a minute. What happened there? Yeah. Oh, Stomont? God, this game. It, I want to put Rotolo in the game. Can we just do that? No, I guess he can't be replaced yet because I already replaced him. It, something about this, the game, it, 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 the, the cursor doesn't line up exactly. With the guys that you know, with um, with what I really want it to do, it's you got to move it. Like, see, right here, right here, I'm actually almost moving the cursor up above pitcher pitch to batter. But that's what you that's where it has to be, and that's what's causing the problems. But really, it not causing too much of a problem for Stelman as he strikes out the first two guys he faces, and uh, Harrison Bay or gets the first two guys out that he faces. And then Bader flies out. So 
I guess it didn't matter. Um, and now we're going to go to Matt Duffy, the batter. Let's see if we can get the go-ahead run. I mean, I'm going to keep Stoneman out there. He's got to be warmed up now because he's already been pitching. Uh, Duffy is out. There's one down, and Pasquatino is the batter. And he is going to hit a home run. Now I may just go get somebody like a closer up because we're in the top of the eighth. No, you know, I'm not going to do that yet because the Yankees still have to bat in the eighth. So, uh, Melendez is up with two two down and nobody on. And he's going to hit a home run. No, he's not. It's going to be a double. <laughs> it's going to be a double, though. We've got a man at second with two down. And a 3-2 to two lead. And Ben Gamble up. And Ben Gamble strikes out. So, that's that. And we're going to keep Stoumont out there because he... He came in cold the last inning because I couldn't grab the right guy, but he walks this dude. So there's a man on with uh, nobody out and uh, Giancarlo Stanton up. You don't really want to see that. He walks the first two guys. So now it that is becoming a problem for him. But he's going to uh, induce a fly ball to right, so there's one down. He is getting. He is almost tired, though. He is almost gassed. Oh, it gets by the, well, and you knew that was going to happen because Duffy's our catcher. But that's going to be a shallow fly. Can the Yankees score on it? I don't know if they can. They can't. So there's two down. Now, really, Stomont is gassed, so we got to really hope. And it is. It's a fly ball with a gassed Stomont. Love it. Okay, we still have a 3-2 lead, and now I am going to warm somebody up, and hopefully we can grab a guy that we actually want to warm up, Scott Barlow. I got hold of him. Now, see, it didn't drop him in there because I didn't put it in just the right place. Okay, so we're going to warm Barlow up. We're going to hope he can uh, get warm. And meanwhile, we're going to hope we can get more runs. That's going to be a single. There's a single to center field uh, by Isbell. And Nicky Lopez is up. We're going to bunt with Nicky Lopez. And Lopez lays a beauty of a bunt down. And he does, um, does move as Isbell to second. So we got a man at second, one out. Bobby Witt Jr. up. And he is again going to ground out to shortstop. Ever since that leadoff home run, he's been a dud. And now we've got Michael Massey, but with a man at third. And he strikes out. So we are going to the pen. We are going to hopefully uh, manage to get Barlow into the game. No, I don't want to sit him down. I don't know how that comes down. Out as sit him down. Yes, I want to put him in the game. All right, so that time I did it right. Barlow is in. And hopefully he can nail this thing down. There's a ground ball to third base. Should be handled, and it is. There's one down quickly. And uh, up steps. And Barlow, by the way, has a 550 earned run average on the year. So he isn't having a good year. But here's Franchi Cordero, pinch hitting for them, and only hitting 194 on the season. And he walks. So he walks Cordero and upsteps Cabrera. And he's going to strike out. So there's two down, and Harrison Bader's the batter. Harrison Bader the batter. And that's it, and we win the game. <laughs> Unbelievable. So we'll take a look at the box score here. We go to 47 and 53. And they the Yankees dropped to 53 and 46. And uh 
Yeah, you can see these batting averages. I mean, Massey's at 305, which is really good. Gamble's at 417, but that's with uh, probably just with the Royals. Um, he was probably came over from a National League team, I would guess. But, uh, I mean, the other guys are all bad hitters. Uh, you know, even Bobby Witt Jr. Uh, is only hitting 234, but he did have a home run. Castillo went six innings, allowed four hits and two earned runs while walking four, but he struck out seven. Stoumont went two and allowed uh, just two walks and struck out a guy. And Barlow got the save with one inning and one walk allowed and no runs. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.